Welcome to another Where in the World Wednesday. Today our adventure doesn't take us out of the United States, but it's still pretty far away from us. I'll give you three clues to help you figure it out. Number one, you might want to lay by the beach. Number two, this state is an island. And number three, the ukulele was first made there. Good luck! Welcome to the amazing island of Hawaii. This beautiful place is known for its beaches and has tons of places to explore. Let's learn a little bit more about this awesome state. This is the Hawaiian flag. You might be wondering, I thought Hawaii was a part of the United States. And you're right, but each state has their own flag. The Hawaiian king around 1800 commissioned a flag to be made. It has eight stripes of red, white, and blue, which represent the eight main islands. It also has the flag of Great Britain emblazoned on the upper left corner to depict Hawaii's friendship with the British. Do you know what Delaware's flag looks like? Hawaii is known by many as the Big Island, but did you know it keeps getting bigger? Each year it grows by roughly 42 acres due to the Kalau volcano, which has been erupting for 30 years. Mauna Loa is Hawaii's largest volcano and one of the largest in the world. Astronauts once used the lava fields as training before going to the moon. In Hawaii, it is considered rude to refuse to wear a lei flower if someone offers it to you. It is also rude to remove it in front of the person who gave it to you. You are also encouraged to never throw a lei away, but return it to the land. While in Hawaii, you may want to check out where Jurassic Park and Jurassic World were filmed, or the Dole Plantation, which has the largest pineapple maze in the world. You may have heard of a famous dance in Hawaii called the hula. You most likely see this dancing during Hawaiian luau's. Most hula dancers wear a grass or leaf skirt, a flower lei, and flowers or grass wreaths in their hair. Today we will be learning a song from Hawaii called Epo Itai Tai. Now this song has two possible meanings. One is it's just a nonsense song, like the rock passing game Al Citrone from Mexico we learned, or it means this man is strong. This man fights like a bull. I kind of like that better, so that's what I choose to believe. Um, so I'm gonna sing the whole song and I'm gonna accompany myself on the ukulele, which we learned is a traditional instrument from Hawaii. The song's pretty simple, so we're gonna learn it phrase by phrase. Be my echo. Epo we tie tie Your turn. Epo we tie tie My turn. Epo we tie tie Your turn. Epo we tie tie My turn. Epo we tie tie Epo we tuki tuki. It's kind of tricky. Here you go. Epo we tie tie epo we tuki tuki. And the next part goes like this. Epo we tuki tuki a. Your turn. Epo we tuki tuki a. Great job. Let's try the whole song together. As always, if you need a little more help, just rewind and try it a few more times. Here we go. Epo we tie tie a. Epo we tie tie. Epo we tie tie. Epo we tuki tuki. Epo we tuki tuki. Great job! Now there's some motions that go with it. I'll teach you the motions and then we'll put it together. Every time we sing the word epo, we're going to pat our legs two times like this. Epo. For the word tie, we're gonna clap our hands. Tie, tie. 
And on the word A, we're going to cross and pat our shoulders twice. So the first phrase would be epo e tai tai a. Epo e tai tai a. Those are the first two phrases. I'll sing and you try the motions. Here we go. Epo e tai tai a. Epo e tai tai a. Great job. In the third and fourth phrase, we add a new word, which is tukey. On tukey, we're going to pat our heads twice. It's a little hard for me because I have my awesome beach hat on, but two times. So the next third and fourth phrase will look like this. Epo, e tai, tai, epo, e tukey, tukey, epo, e tukey, tukey, a. That's pretty tricky, so let's do it phrase by phrase. Start with epo we tie tie epo we tuki tuki just that much here we go epo we tie tie epo we tuki tuki good job and now the next part would be epo e tuki tuki a oh a sorry so epo e tuki tuki a and that last day has four beats, so make sure you get four pats on your shoulders. Let's try it from Epo we tuki tuki a. Epo we tuki tuki a. Great job. Now let's try the whole song all together. One, two, here we go. Epo we tie tie a. Epo we tie tie a. For an additional challenge, you can turn this song into a stick game. Grab two sticks or two wooden spoons. That's all you're going to need. For the word epo, we're going to tap the sticks on the ground. For the word tie, we're going to tap the other end of the sticks on the ground. For A, we're going to click the sticks together. And for Tuki, there's two ways to do it. If you're doing it alone, you're going to clap, uh, click the sticks up in the air above your head. If you're doing it with a partner, you can click sticks with your partner. The whole thing looks like this. Epo we tie tie a. Epo we tie tie a. Epo we tie tie epo we tuki tuki epo we tuki tuki a. Great job. Thanks so much for joining me in Hawaii to learn our song Epo We Tai Tai. For an additional challenge, you can try to make up your own stick game. So for each word, change what you're doing with the sticks. That's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow for Tall Tale Thursday. Bye!